Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I'm going to talk about how we can create this kind of left navigation or this kind of tab component in Power Apps so without further delay let's get started for this development we are going to use modern control that is just been rolled out also before we get started if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far do follow me so in order to in order to get started with this component make sure that you go to the setting here go to the upcoming feature and search for the modern component and make sure that this feature is turned on as soon as you turn it on you are able to have that option to add this component to add this tabless component go to the insert menu and over here you have modern control option from there select this tab list as soon as you add that it will show you that particular control on your screen now you need to provide the item as a data source so here i am providing the values like this as soon as you add that it will show this kind of value over here don't worry here you need to simply click on the field option and click on add field and select the value from here and it will show you the exact value that you have provided over here that's how your tab component is ready now when you select this tab component it is looking like this isn't it cool and amazing now let's say if you want to use this control as your left navigation then there is a simple property you can simply select this control and from the alignment select the pose alignment as horizontal to vertical so as soon as you do this activity it will show you the control in a vertical way and it will act as a left navigation for your application so you can simply add this left navigation like this and you can also simply change the render size from medium to large like this you can simply increase the width and this is looking cool and amazing now like other controls as well this particular control offer two different event you can write here on select event as well as on change event also sometime we have a requirement that by default we need to select the specific property from this control then there is a property called default selected item and when you select that you need to provide default item from this left navigation so let's say over here i need about us as my default property then i can simply write here like about us and this will selected by default now let's write one more event over here let's select this control and go to the on select event and let's say if i select home it will just notify me as home is selected and about us then about us is selected so i write one cease expression over here and now if i test it when i select it it is showing me the appropriate message over here depending on your logic you can write any power effects expression that you wish to have and your work is done now let's say using this particular control i can show and hide the different element on the screen depending on the selection of the tab now let's say here i have taken two label control and i want to show and hide the control depending on the selection from the left side then how can i do that so for that i can simply select this control and i can go to the visible condition and over here i can apply a condition like this it can be visible only when tablis3. selected dot value is equal to home so when we select home only at that time this will appear similar way let's copy the same thing and go here and add the condition if it is about us then only it will show this particular value and now let's test it as soon as i click on about us it is showing this element as i select this one it is showing home component if i select something else it will not show me anything right so this is how this particular tablist component will look like inside the power apps hope this feature helps you and values your time are you looking for any training and consultation then this is the website link which you can refer you can follow me on my other social media handle like twitter instagram using the links i provided on the channel cover right page and don't forget to subscribe my another channel digital thruvin where i am uploading short content and hindi content on power platform With this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye